Alright, we're about an hour into XTU beating the crap out of my 5930K overclock to 4.5 gigahertz. Running 45 by 100 on all six cores. About 1.26 core voltage. It's been pretty steady. Um, started the test at roughly, I don't know, 40 something C ambient temp coming down from a previous test. Usually it's about 39 C idle, but 40, 44 is fine. Peaks throughout have been like upper 70s. Hasn't really changed all the way through. The system's been pretty quiet. Uh, I've been, been pretty happy with it. I have a NZXT Kraken X62 240mm radiator on the intake side of my of my case, so it's getting cooler outside air. It's about 74 degrees in my office right now. Uh, the lowest I ever set my fans is about 50%, so fan speeds haven't even come up. Uh, they're about as silent as, as they get. Uh, pretty much anything 800 and lower is inaudible from where I sit at my desk. Liquid temps have come up about, I don't know, maybe 5C. I mean, even the, the pump profile that I have hasn't even really kicked in. Yet yeah, we're we're still pretty pretty low on that. But the system lives just behind my monitor. Just one of the reasons I want it to be as quiet as possible. It'd be nice if it was you know, if I had a full water loop and I could have just one huge radiator, but I picked the smallest ATX case I could get, which is the Rajentech Thetis. Uh, it's a fourteen by fourteen square about eight, eight and a half inches wide. For most cases, they're like 16, 17, 18 inches tall. This one's only 14 tall. It's got a front-mounted power supply. I made a little rack for my SSDs. The front intake radiator. And then I have a push-pull 120 mil exhaust for my, my GPU. I've got a 120 mil exhaust on the bottom of the case, which is currently the side, and a power supply also exhaust in the same place with a 120 mil fan inside the case. So as you can hear, you're pretty close to it. It's pretty quiet. Put the phone right in the front. In front of the radiator, you can kind of listen. It doesn't make a lot of noise. But I've been really happy with this build. It's been very stable. I may modify it a little bit. I'd like to fit another 240 mil radiator in and do a full custom water loop. I'm just waiting on 1080 Ti fire sales when people get done with mining with them. Because prices are a little ridiculous and I'm not going to buy a water block for a 980 Ti at this point. But yeah, this has been the test. It's been stable. I can't complain about any of the temps or the sound. Um, no crashes. I could probably go a little bit higher if I wanted to. As these temps, you know, I could go to 80 or 90 C, no problem. At least 85 C. Intel recommends a top of roughly 66 C for this particular chip probably pushing, I mean it says max EP is 140 watts, but I'm probably pushing a bit more than 140 watts overclocked like this. There used to be a view that would show me specifically what my current TDP was, but I think I needed a different tool for that. But anyways, that's the end of the hour. I've got a minute left. Yeah, it's, that's solid. This is, this is what you want to see. Mid, mid to upper 70s, completely stable and silent. Can't ask for more. I wish my GPU was silent. The 120 mil radiator is not quite enough because of my, my 980 Ti is overclocked as well. And that's pushing um, probably close to 300 watts. And 300 watts is a bit much for 120 mil radiator. I really wish the, the pump on this. 240 mil radiator was a little bit thinner, and I could run that for the GPU and run the 120 for the CPU. But I'll just have to live with it. It's really not that loud. 
not loud enough that I would ever want to wear headphones while gaming. But I just want to see this finish here. And then I'll end the video. Got ten more seconds. I don't know if I've ever actually waited out the end of an XTU test. I don't know if it gives me a little report or summary. It just finishes. Oh. Huh. Test passed. Thanks, XTU. No report, no summary. Okay. Well, save. Oh no, I want to save my profile. I don't want to do that. I have that set somewhere else. But that's it. Stable, 4.5. Under 1.3 vCore, which is pretty rare. Most people are pushing 1.3, 1.3.5 for stability, but I haven't had any issues at this point. Alright. Till next time.